So that was Anthony Romero, uh, the number. Attorney Lawrence Hildes, not answering. I left a message also for Mike Ratner. He is the brother of the billionaire of Brooklyn, um, Ratner, who wanted to build, who's been building major developments in Brooklyn. He's the multi-billionaire's brother. This number is is a direct number to Dr. Nayef, but he doesn't pick it up. He has somebody else pick it up, uh, who did it, the comic books, which was acknowledged by President Obama, and I had similar concepts long before that, um, which is called the 99. And somehow they got acknowledgement. See, there's a Muslim clique. I don't know what clique that is. There is a Muslim clique. I don't know who else did that? Thing. Seven thirty nine in the morning, maybe two or morning. Steve is a person of Jewish ancestry who was one of the few pilots allowed to fly in September eleventh. He was one of the few pilots allowed to fly on September eleventh when all planes were commanded to be down um, and not to get the air. He was one of the few allowed. He's of Scandinavian Jewish ancestry, Jewish but Scandinavian origin but fully Jewish ancestry because he talks about glock kosher and all of that how glock kosher you would actually burn the utensils of even that even come near anything that's not kosher glock kosher which was a place that was the first place that I was sent to from labor ready in commerce labor ready in commerce sent me to a place that was got kosher and and I haven't caused any problems yeah I didn't cause any problems I went to the facility they had to picture up the ribeye and everything like that, but I didn't have the work boots and the proper equipment. Needed to work out there, so I had to leave. They didn't give me the proper equipment. They're supposed to give me the proper equipment. Silly, you know, ripped up pieces of paper. Just don't make no sense. You know why this is happening? Because I have no time to meditate. To sit and actually arrange. There's no income, no place to live. See, you're constantly kept off your feet as aviation place also called Monterey Bay Aviation um, and the FBI did go by there this was before I went to Singapore yes they had stopped by they had been by there before like saying what I'm banned from aviation I shouldn't as if I shouldn't have anything to do with aviation whatsoever you see so what they're doing is by this mere suspicion Call of suspicion alone, they have made me persona non grata. They've made me that if what they're saying is if the authorities are looking at you like that, you must have done something. I haven't done nothing. See, what they're experimenting with is can we keep a person like this perpetually, like this, for the rest of his life? A suspect. See? And what I'm showing you is these hypocrite Muslims that run these communities. Nine four nine three zero seven zero. Again, I waited all day. Oh, 
Okay, this is a responsible person of the Brother uh, Hisham, Mr. Lenore, in, um, in Fountain Valley, which is near where Dr. Mazama lives. He went by his house, I never bothered him again. Didn't ask him for anything when I went to his house. If I wanted to, I could kill people if I wanted to. Yes, sheriffs and all that. But I don't. I show respect. And this is this is how they return you, to you. I, they retaliate with you with threat and with abuse, man. Yeah, this is how they do. I, so what I'm saying is these people, as Sean Hannity was saying, are untrusted in authority. See, if he knows me, he won't answer. This is a sign of Nifak. Watch. Yeah, if you don't pick up, yeah, this is a mobile number. You have reached the voicemail. Yeah, because he knows who it is. He won't pick up. That's a sign of Nifak. I'm not saying he's Munafik, but it's a sign of the vodka. They know you need help. So in this call record, now you see that I've called the ACLU. I've called the ACLU. That's ACLU. And I've called, left a message, and I've called attorney Mike Ratner. Now let's see if anybody, the oddest part, and the biggest proof of surveillance is nobody returns calls to this number. Nobody returns calls to this number. Nobody. Nobody ever well, returned to the call. To this one, yeah. You can no add credit by purchasing a refill card from any participating retailer or by dialing star two very three three from your T-Mobile yeah, very to refill with a credit or debit card. Yeah. Have a, it's like you have a phone, but it doesn't work. <laughs> But you can't receive any calls. You have a phone, but it doesn't work. Now, helping hand. And there's no way to leave a message. Now, there's an organization called Helping Hand. Now, this is my brother, Ishara, which I would have to call him after after, after 8 o'clock. See, this is considered too early. 7.46 a.m. Right. Proper time is considered after 9 o'clock. But after 9 o'clock, they could also be in an office. So really, etiquette starts around 8, like after 8 o'clock in the morning. 7 o'clock is considered breakfast time. You may be still getting up out of bed. And this court date, I had a court date in San Jose with this case number. One one is one one three C V C V the initial C V that means civil. The initial C V means civil. One one three C V two five zero seven three five. One one three C V two five zero seven three five in San Jose, Superior Court of California. And it says warning as a defendant, if you do you warning if you do not follow these instructions, you may automatically lose the case. You may automatically lose the case. So I've been delayed here. It is Honorable Peter Kieran, Department 8. That was supposed to be there December 3rd. When did I go to Corona, the mosque in Corona, Mystic, to try to get help? Since the middle of November. I've been pleading my case. It's now December the 10th. The middle of November. I've been trying to plead my case to show you how evil of a community these people are. These are very evil people, man. These Muslims that run these communities. Very evil. Very, very vicious, evil, filthy people. Wallahi, wallahi, though I sinned in Singapore, but in a my way, it's a sin that cannot be held against me in a major fashion because I didn't commit zina with Putin. I never give, touched her to commit zina with her. I keep, because Malays do much worse, but they came against me because I was a Negro. I was black. 